Welcome to Lagging Out, episode 214. I got it all wrong again. That's all right. I fixed it. I am uh, your host, Funny Guy, here with Chieftain and Zombie Killer, discussing video games, the game industry, superheroes, Comic-Con, comic books, all things nerd. We are on every other Saturday, 7 p.m. Pacific time, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, usually you catch us not only here on uh, Google Hangouts, but on YouTube and Twitch as well at twitch.tv slash lag it out. Although due to some technical difficulties, we'll be returning to Twitch in a couple. That being said, you are watching lag it out and uh, we are, are a real show. We have sponsors. And you want to play like the pros, get yourself a pair of gamer gloves. Go to thegamergloves.com and enter the coupon code lagging out to save fifteen percent on your next pair of gamer gloves. Fu on posting it dot com, the only social media outlet around where you can post whatever you want without censorship. Check out Fu on posting it dot com today. Xbox Boss Play is run by the one and only Blue Polar. Xbox Boss Players is a multi platform community and they welcome all gamers regardless of their name. Check out their group today at Xbox 360 Boss Players Group. Beeple, pop, pop, that was all right. That was Beeple. that was okay. Uh, I, I, I really want to work on this with you. <laughs> <laughs> like fierce gaming females. Yeah, they support I mean, all gamers on all platforms. Like their Facebook page at Fierce Gaming Females or their group page at Fierce Gaming Females. Hot chicks with sticks. <laughs> that's, a call, that's, a call, that's what they call a callback from last week. There you go. <laughs> no, no. Feel free to jump in any time here, Zombie Killer. It's, uh, yeah. You there? Can you hear us? Yeah. No. Not at all. No? Okay. And once again, she's on the wrong <laughs> side of her camera. I am not. I'm where you told me to be. Jackass. <laughs> You're complaining that you don't get a word in edgewise, so I figured we'd give you a little bit of time here. Well, thank you. Thank you. So uh, as you were, you were saying, uh, what now about the Black Russian? Black Russian. Actually, folks don't uh, know. If, if, if you're tuning in and you don't yeah, know, the Black Russian is kind of a fan of ours. Sort of a fan. I don't know. He wants so to be on here really bad. Yeah. And, uh... I mean, I've never met a black Russian guy, so I figure why not, right? I guess. I guess I'm like I, I have a little I have a little snippet of what he actually said. Do you want to hear it? I have it here. Hell yeah, I want to hear it. Zombie yeah. guy, not funny because you don't put me on there. Zombie killer, I've been killing zombies before they were cool, okay? And chieftain, you're not chief no more. You see this? I'll drink you, chieftain. Call the black Russian, lagging out, or it will be. Your undoing. So now he's threatening us. <laughs> well, I think we need to give him a call. So, is he a fan or? Well, <laughs> oh, I don't. You have to watch the whole video to see it. He he wants to come on the show, but uh, he doesn't think you're funny. Zombie killer. I don't know, man. I don't. He's been I don't. killing zombies before they were cool, and he doesn't outrank the chieftain. So. Yeah, well, I don't know. we'll, we'll, well get him we on here. Well, we need to get this guy on the phone and uh, get him here. So, so I have a message here on the on the chat. I got okay. all excited. I thought our one of our viewers was asking a question, and instead, it's it's Zombie Killer reminding me to do a read, which I think is very <laughs> funny. Um, so I'm guessing is this you want me to give you a lesson in doing a read? Is that what this is about? Is that I want you to pay attention. Okay. Um, first, first of all, here, here's what I was going to do for fun. Should I read it the way I want to read it, and then should I read it the way I think you would read it? 
Pam, 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 pam. Hmm. Hmm. No, I think I've heard. I think here's, heard here's my impression of, of here's my impression. I'm not making fun of you. I'm teasing. She's looking great tonight too. You look amazing tonight. Yes, always follow a kiss ass with a suck ass. I learned that one wow. too. Wow, <laughs> can't even can't even give you a compliment without you giving me shit. <laughs> I don't know. Her hormones are all weirded out. Yeah. It's been a long damn day, you know. Okay, this is this is what I don't want to hear from you. I guess revolver. <laughs> I don't even know if I can read that way. <laughs> Oh, we got to do the revolver read. I totally forgot about revolver, that. Revolver, a clan that succeeds at being strong and unique among the thousands of clans of mundane in the week. Now, that's an example of how I not to do a read. Here's an example of how to do a read. <laughs> I revolver. think that sounded that slow. Yeah, it was. <laughs> revolver. A clan that succeeds at having strong and unique among the thousands of clans of the mundane and the weak. No applause, no good job. Well, oh, that's nice. the best I've heard. Wow, oh, okay. Right here, kids. <laughs> right there. <laughs> you know, how about we just how about we just uh, take all the money that we are getting and pay Morgan fucking Freeman to do the whole read. Wow. That's what that I, was middle, I was always wondering what his middle name was. Yes. <laughs> Morgan fucking Friedman. Yeah. No relation. No, like, I, I was going to say, you're related? Was, uh, no. <laughs> Doc fucking Norris. See, they're related. But yeah, we can start with the news with Funny Guy now. There's four pages of news. Um, Are you reading all of this? Well, it's... We don't have to read... You don't have don't to really read all have of have it. Any, I don't really have any news necessarily... I mean, uh, well, they're topics. So. There are some topics. I mean, going on out there. But I guess before we get into the meat of the show, which is what all this is, right? Um, I think, uh, as we all well know, Google is in discussions of uh, buying Twitch, um, which kind of, uh, what you are know, you doing? what am I doing? I'm deviating from the script to do news. Yeah, no news you know topic. how hard the writing team writes the script. All this <laughs> stuff here is is the one topic of the show, though. But we have more topics following this topic of the show. Yeah. So what I guess people wanted to know, I guess one of the main questions they asked is what school should you go to, if, if any at all? Well, right. We, we don't if have anybody to wants to be in the industry, I would recommend going to school in general. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a tough business, and it's a very technical business, and it's technology constantly changes. So by the time you get out of school, the technology you're working with will be ahead of what you were using in school. However, what you learn in school will be the basis and the backbone for you to learn that new technology. So I'm kind of surprised with the top five on here, and I have a different philosophy on the school. I don't, I know, and I'll discuss it later. But this list is just not the list I have. Well, I um, went to school for broadcast production, so I, yeah, but you, and there was no yeah. video games when I was in college, not for school anyway. Right, and when I went to school, it was computer graphics. But I mean, USC is on this list. They're number one. University of Utah, Digapen Institute of Technology, and Michigan State, and Drexel. Now, like, I can scroll down here and let you know about each school's cinematic arts and what, what they have to... It, it sounds like the company line from them, and I'd just like to thank Sherry Parsley for all this information, but I'm just going to concentrate on the University of Utah because this kind of ticks me off a little bit. They, they actually go in... They have direct connect... They say they have direct, direct connections, to quote, unquote, with EA, Right? Well, they so they have connections in the industry, I'm sure. Right. Listen to this. Listen to this. And listen There's not a college shit. out there that's going to tell you that their graduates don't get jobs. Right, exactly. And it's always the high percentage. It's like, oh, we 80% of our people are placed. What they don't tell the kids when they're coming out of school is you're going to get a two-month contract and then be off for six months, and then be on for two months and be off for six months. Now, listen to the median income that they say that their graduates get. Undergrad gets 72000 a year. Starting pay, median pay, master's degree people make 97 Gs. I've been in the industry eight years, nine years. I've never made 72 grand as a median income. I don't know about you, but I know a lot of people that don't make a 72 grand a year with an undergrad. I have a master's degree, so that's bullshit. 
I, I just and then the other the other ones are pretty much the same thing. If you're going to school and they're telling you you're going to make this much money coming out, you're not. If you want to go to college, which I'm totally against. Well, I think if you're going to be a programmer, unless you're a genius and can teach yourself programming, I'm getting you to that. Go to school. Exactly. Exactly my point. So if you want to become a game, if you want to become a game designer, I my top chieftain's top five are full sale university because you can get in and out at a quarter of the price, buy Nomen DVDs, or or uh, sign up for digital tutors. Those that's the best way to go. Some other ones are the Academy of Art University, which is my alma mater, Cal Arts, Savannah School of Art. And Ohio State University, the Ohio State University. If you want to go to college, the Ohio State University. Yeah, the Ohio State University. Go to Full Sail. Go to Nomen. Uh, go to Nomen Division and Digital Tutors. It's the best way to go. I would not go to. A, I would not go to a big time university. That's just my opinion. If you want to get in the gaming industry to become a designer, my advice is don't. Don't do it. You know, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. If I was really mm -hmm. gonna answer that question truthfully, if somebody said, right. hey, "I want to make games. I want to design games. Be a game designer," right. I would honestly say, go out, um, figure out what kind of game you want to make, figure out what engine you would need to make it, and try to license that engine, and do it if, and and do it yourself, and and do at least do of it what you can yourself. I think that you're going to start off at a low, at a low, at a low small title position, and eventually become a game designer. Um, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, you're yeah. better off taking your idea yourself, cultivating it. In other words, if you have an idea for a game, uh, you know what's an engine. Granted, there's some older engines out there that are free. Like you can use the Quake engine. You could use uh, Unreal. Unreal. You could use. Uh, What's the one that everybody's using now because it, it works for mobile as well? I forget what it's called. Unity. Unity. Thank you. Um, I'm so glad I got that that's, one. That's a really and it's a really good engine. And the, my point is is that you know you can't learn how to do everything when it comes to making a game, but there are things you can do yourself. And in order to make, I think you're you're if you want to really reach an end goal, and it's like, well, I really want to get this game made, but you know, at the rate I'm going, it's going to take me 15 years before I'm anywhere where I'm even able to talk to somebody about it. Do it yourself. If you have an issue, there's a little um, thing called the internet. And on the internet, there's this page called YouTube.com. If you have an issue with something, you could just look it up on there and teach yourself how to do it. I looked up Unity and how they did it, and I can pretty much... I can pretty much work my way through it from the code. It's mostly code-based. That, that's my sermon on that, I guess. Right. Because the, the thing is that everyone I talk to, we've been we've been to a couple of conventions together, and uh, a lot of people are like, how do I get into games and that sort of thing? It's, you like playing video games? Yeah. Well, this isn't playing video games. Creating video games and making video games are yeah, two different play, things. Playing and making them are two different things. Right, you can draw the yeah, parallel. And you have to like, but the if you don't like the process of making a game, you're not going to enjoy making. It too. You being in the entertainment industry, acting, doing stand up for a long time, you know there's a lot of people doing the same thing that you're doing. It's the same instance with this. It's like being an actor. You know, there's thousands of people going for one position. So, right. probably 99% of the time, you're going to get. Thank you for your interest and da 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 da. We went with another candidate, and I have a lot of experience. You know, I've worked with a lot of stuff, but you know, it's convenient for them to take someone either who's closer, or they probably hire internally. If you want to get in the gaming industry, this is my experience. Go into programming. You're worth. You might be able to pull that seventy-two thousand to one hundred thousand dollars a year because everybody's looking for programmers or IT like Zombie Killer. It's Put kind of the spot. same struggle that you guys go through. <laughs> really, um, is it hard? It's harder on that side too. Contracting, like you just get put on a contract, so it worked for a little bit. It's kind of like the pay that everybody was getting is like cut in half. Well, I only say half because, let's say, things changed like in the two years that I was going to school, to where. It probably dropped almost anywhere from three to five dollars an hour, like what you could be making for doing certain things. And that wow. was basically hands-on labor, fixing parts. 
then you had the other side, basically call center, um, help desk kind of things. And that did pay. That's probably what pays the most now because nobody fixes things. They just call and order new parts. So what you're saying is that we should actually go deal drugs because we could probably make money doing that. Don't do that. Yeah, there's probably been, a <laughs> there's like a five to ten dollar drop an hour as far as Same pay for my side. position. Mm -hmm. But if you take most of the stuff would be twenty dollars an hour. And how long are your contracts? God, um, I get stuff all the time. Some of it's for <laughs> two weeks up till maybe a year. And well, a lot of you... them were like no um, like no vacation time. Your schedules would change. You had to work maybe like second shift or just kind of crappy hours, to be honest. And you're maybe no health benefits, too, because that's the new thing. A lot of that's going to change. What makes you say that? With Obamacare, places are going to have to offer health benefits. Only if you have over 50 people working. And then you can actually, um, after, not to get into any lot of politics, but uh, there are waivers for certain corporations now, so they're actually not going to be in compliance with the law, but they're getting waivers from the federal government that actually initiated the law. So um, some companies, it's not going to change, and some companies it will. The Your best form. advice that I can that I can really give, though, honestly, and probably how you guys are, too, it's fine to go to school for it, and I think if you're going to go to school, you should probably get the highest degree that you can. At the same time, though, don't pay, like, there was one uh, place here, um, the Art Institute, and they were probably one of the mainstream schools that was pushing for doing graphic arts and uh, video game stuff, you know. Yeah. And I looked into their prices and it was maybe for your bachelor's, it was almost $100,000. Yeah. That's actually cheap. Why did you pass all your classes the first time around, too? Yeah. <laughs> I went to a private school who's in trouble. Like, they're getting sued now. But you know, their prices weren't exactly that much, but it was still a ripoff. Bottom line is you still got to learn somewhere. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and just don't think you have to throw away your money to get maybe a good education. Either. You don't have to spend hundreds okay. of thousands of dollars. For it. Right. Right. Do your research. Be smart. Um, that That's what we give you the best advice. Be smart about it. Don't make the same mistakes we did. If you think, uh, when you think ESPN, you might think sports 24-7. Am I supposed to read this, I'm assuming? Uh, yeah. You can buy it. Sure. I got it for All right, uh, but uh, then I we got to ask, uh, what would you consider a sport? Is a sport because there's uh, a sport because it's different skill levels? You have recreational, amateur, professional. Is it a sport because it requires focus? Uh, is it defined by the uh, eye-hand coordination of a, of a of a participant? Right. Uh, rapid decision-making qualities uh, to carry out uh, specific duties or actions. Um, or is it, uh, you know, a group of people working together as a cohesive unit? Um, uh, you know, does it have Can to... Can I feel this? Hold on, let me finish, okay. let me read this, and then we'll talk. Um, okay. Does it have to include a ball or a stick or special equipment? Uh, maybe it's only a sport if you can make millions of dollars at it. So that seems to be, a lot of times today, kind of the... The attitude of, you know, well, it's, you know, if I'm in a shopping cart and I win the race down the hill, it's a sport. Um, whatever your particular outlook is on sports uh, or your particular opinion is of what qualifies as a sport, we here at Lagging Out are happy to say that ESPN's finally recognized com competitive gaming as a sport uh, and they recently put it on their network. Uh, they've even been under scrutiny for hardcore football, basketball, uh, basically any sport that involves balls uh, because um, of their judgment call uh, recently to air a World of Warcraft tournament. Now, the tournament featured top players from around the world and boasted a record-breaking $5 million grand prize for the winner. That's a lot of dough, uh, which the actual winner used to move out of his mother's basement. Uh, that's just a little joke here. We like to throw in a lagging out. Um, <laughs> now, some fans have, uh, 
all the other sports that are out there, um, they don't seem to think that uh, the multi-million dollar tournament was worth their time, and they were kind of pissed, and, uh, you know, they there were a lot of tweets that went out that were kind of nasty about gamers, and gaming isn't a real sport. But we, we hear it lagging out, and I think the gaming community will agree with us. Look, it's not a lottery. It's a competition. And when you have a competition and you attach prize money to it, it's a competition. A competition is a synonym for the word sport. Right. So whether you folks like it or not, uh, the, the grown-ups of the world, the kids of the world, even the people our age of the world, um, you know, we mentioned earlier that Google is going to be buying you Twitch here soon. You can eat a dick. Um, well, I wasn't going to go that kind of route. <laughs> I was just going to kind of say uh, the world's going to very soon have to get used to gamers because we're not going anywhere, and what we do is a sport. Uh, I'll tell you one thing that gaming has done for me over the years is it's kept my eye-hand coordination, and, uh, you know, a lot of people say that uh, you're doing, you know, there are studies that suggest that doing crossword puzzles and, and, and word jumbles and things like that are or in jigsaw puzzles as you get older in life are good ways to keep your brain sharp. And they're starting to say the same thing about video games. And I completely believe that that's true because of the problem solving, the, the puzzles, et cetera, et cetera. So we are, gaming is a real sport, kids. Get used to it. We're here. We ain't going anywhere. And if you got a problem with that, why don't you meet me for a 1v1, okay? Hell oh, nice. <laughs> oh, no. ESPN hosts World Series of Poker, Ultimate Eating, they make arguments if NASCAR is a sport. And well, the that's kind of my series. point. Well, NASCAR is a sport, but I'm saying the Little League World Series, that's baseball. Of course that's a sport. But what, what about ultimate, is, eating? ultimate eating? Again, again, if, if you're going to give gamers shit about the fact that what we do is a sport, ultimate eating, I mean, is there really? Is, I think the biggest strategy yeah, in ultimate eating, here, here, look, when, when you do what we do as gamers, there's strategy, there's eye hand, there's communication and team-based games, et cetera, et cetera. Even in single player, you still got to have a lot of wits about you and, and definitely reaction time. Um, and your virginity comes back is to eye hand. Intact, Now, let, let me think about this. Now, I'm not going to say that with uh, extreme eating that there isn't any eye hand coordination because I'm sure there is, but I would think the main goal in extreme eating is to not throw up. Am I... They anyway. call that, if you ever watch it, it's called reversal of fortune. They don't call it throwing up. Oh, I see. I call it throwing I, up. I'm an avid fan of ultimate eating. Really? I was going to make that dirty, but I'm not going to. Same here. Darn it. <laughs> of course you guys are going to go that way. Of course you are. <laughs> We so, here at Lag and I would just like to say, if you don't think that gaming is really competitive and that gaming isn't a sport, like I said, come at me, bro, 1v1, any day, any time. Me too. I'm the raging gamer. All right. Also in the news, Marvel made a big announcement that Thor, now I don't know the whole story behind this. I did see a thing about it on the news. Thor is now going to be female. Right. I know the story. But is this in an, is this in an alternate universe or is this? No, it's not. Uh, well, I, bet Chris, I bet Chris Hemsworth's pissed. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, this is, is it his for, daughter? This is just for the comics. No, it's not his daughter. So? It doesn't matter. It, um, Why in the it, comics? Why is it, that acceptable? No, I'm, just, I'm not saying it is. I'm just merely saying it's not for the movies. It's for the actual comics. But apparently Thor, all of a sudden, is not worthy of the hammer, and the hammer chooses another Thor. I say precursor to a Scarlett Johansson playing the new Thor down the road, five, ten years. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be 45 years old. You want to see Thor with sagging boobs? I don't think her boobs will sag. Okay. Marvel made two big announcements, actually. Right. Um, I'm totally going to screw up this one. Not only is Thor going to be female, but you know, and I, the way I understand this is this is in an alternate universe. Am I correct about this one? No, it's not. It's in the same universe. Captain America, a, I, I don't know. I, I They touched on it for a brief second. I was getting ready for work. Um, it, Captain America is also, Thor is going to not only be female, but Captain America is now going to be uh, uh, black or African-American, if you will. 
Right, someone's gonna, someone else is gonna take over that. Um, I want to say it's Falcon that's taking over, but I could be right, wrong. That's, that was that I do remember hearing in the story. So okay, good. I was right. I was in the sure. Marvel universe, I believe. I forget Falcon's secret identity, but something happens to Steve Rogers that Falcon it basically right. comes in to to keep the Captain America, this the the, the character, I guess, if you will, the superhero. Um, yeah. In flux in the universe. Don't not a fan of Thor being a woman and Captain America being black. I understand uh, Green Lantern and the Lantern Corps having a black Green Lantern justifiable, completely justifiable because it's a Green Lantern Corps. There's not a Captain America Corps. There's Thor is from um, mythology, from um, Viking myth. They're they're getting away from the original stories of of the actual stories of Thor and Captain America. Disney does it all the time. Disney does it with, uh, did it with the Hercules, a demigod, his mother was mortal. In yeah, the but movie, they're making a cartoon for little kids. It don't matter. You want to stick to the original story, though, don't you? Not if you're making it for little kids. You do, but you don't. I mean, I get that as a writer. So, I commend, I'll say this, I commend Marvel for their changes. Okay, to try and present the more diverse universe of right. main superheroes. I get that. There's nothing wrong. Uh, I think it's a smart move in the sense, too, with Thor, because as we know, and I'm sure Zombie Killer will attest to this, and I think as you and I have gotten older, it's now become more acceptable for women to like these superheroes in comic books and video games, and it's gaining momentum. I heard DC is doing something too, and actually, this is a this is a lagging Which, out exclusive. I like this because I, I don't really want to say it on the air, but I think we should do more stuff like this. this if you're a fan of the Onion, you're gonna love this. So. Yeah, in efforts to keep up with Marvel's race to the bottom of the comic world, DC has completely redesigned the Batmobile again to be more green environmentally friendly, so to speak. DC has teamed up with Toyota for the Dark Knight's new ride, a black Prius. What? Picture. Oh, wow. um. here's, here's the image. Um, it's equipped with um, Batman rims, the logo on the side, and peaks at 65 miles an hour. The cash so, goes for the traders. So fighting crime won... I don't know, several minutes at a time, I guess. It's going to be the new company car for lagging out. It's, I, mean, I don't think you're going to fight crime by trying to go to crime scenes in a car like that. I think you'd be enabling crime. I don't, there it is right there, the official Batmobile the new for, Batmobile. for Marvel. There you go. <laughs> I wish I could DC, put the applause. DC. From Marvel, that's Batman's DC. Oh, DC. I said D. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't realize I said that. Thank you. So, what does watching Lagging Out get you? Well, it might get you entered into the Lagging Out Loot Giveaway. Now, how do you win? First, you got to watch our show live, and uh, for the trivia question to pop up on our Facebook page, and to do that, you got to go to facebook.com/slash Lagging Out. And if you're the first person to answer correctly, you will get entered into an end of the year, se end of the season drawing uh, around the holiday season. For the Lagging Out Loot Giveaway, it's brought to you by Games in by Gamer Insight, Nar Narrate, and Gamer Gloves. Now, what's in the Loot Giveaway? This is just a partial list, but uh, Ten bucks February, everything. Cop no, I'm going to read everything that's on here. Uh, <laughs> copy of Game Informer, autographed by the entire studio at Turtle Rock Studios, who's publishing Evolve, which comes out uh, this fall. Uh, a pair of Gamer Gloves, an Xbox Live card valued at 50 bucks. That'll come in just in handy for the for the holiday season, huh? Prize package that's worth in excess of $500. So, with that being said, I'll let Chieftain take it away for the trivia question this week. This week's trivia question is, what bad guy was introduced in Super Mario Bros. 2? A. Koopa Troopa. B. Lakitu. C, Shy Guy, or D, Goomba? First person to answer the question correctly on the post will get entered into a chance to win the Lagging Out Loot Giveaway. Years of experience. I don't, know, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to I'm tell pretty you. awesome, you know. I was told I'd tell it all the time. Oh, yeah, brother. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Sounds yeah. Like you oh, yeah, oh, I'm constipated. Oh, you ever wonder if he went to the bathroom like that? Um, oh, it's not enough fire. Oh, somebody bring me up a newspaper.
Um, you, you sound like a cross between Macho Man Randy Savage and uh, Yosemite Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, Ooh. rabbit. Uh, I think that kind of brings us to a relative close here, doesn't it? Okay. okay. Well, Definitely not to a close relative. No. That could be creepy. So are we uh, are we doing our regular sign off or are we reading this? Yeah, we went through this last. So are we doing our regular? I'm gonna do what I want. It's, On behalf so of yeah, Bobby, the regular. Do yeah. the game over. Do the. All right, I'll do the game over. Do our On trademark behalf, sign off. That's... On behalf of Zombie Killer, Funny Guy, Lily Raven, we would like to thank you for watching the show. And until next time, this is Chieftain signing off and lagging out. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Do it one more time. <laughs> I liked it. What the hell? But do it again. On behalf of Zombie Killer, Funny Guy, Lily Raven, we would like to thank you for watching the show. And until next time, this is Chieftain signing off and lagging out. I love a little pose. <laughs> thanks for My watching. Pose. Th thanks for watching.